Okay, this shadow is not... The lighting of this video is just gonna be... Because this is my first time filming in front of my windows and I'm just trying to figure this out. Also, it's, it's winter so the sun is like in a weird position. Actually, it's fall. Oh my god, I'm not ready for winter. Hey guys, Giselle here. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, the sun is in my eyes, but good lighting. <laughs> well, today's video is going to be all about the new Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Elongating Cream that people have been raving about and I've been seeing it everywhere. And I really just wanted to try it because elongating cream, like, of course, duh, who doesn't want that? Um, so yeah, basically I'm just gonna give you my thoughts and show you how I applied it onto my hair and just giving you my overall review about it. So this is the Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. Um, define and Control, this is under their style and shape category, so it's like the purple one, which is meant for more um, curlier, longer hair. And it is 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone free, just like all of their products. So basically, if you have super curly hair, check, and want stretch curls, check, without losing definition, check, this multi-use style has styler has your name all over it. So what does it do? The coconut infused cream stretches any style. It elongates curls without compromising definition, while coconut oil delivers shine and moisture. The soft, velvety texture gives the moisture of a cream with the hold of a gel without the crunch. So it claims to do a lot. It claims to actually like work miracles, I feel like. That, that statement right there, what does it do? That is saying a lot. That it gives the moisture of a cream with the hold of a gel without the crunch. Diva Curl. That's a strong statement. That's a strong statement. So anyway, this product retails for about $38. I got mine from Sephora. Um, I got it online. I believe it's the same price on the Diva Curl website. Don't quote me on that. If I'm wrong, I will put it on the screen. But yeah, so $38. Now we all know Diva Curl is pretty much up there with their prices. That is not anything new, but um, we do also know that Diva Curl, the quality of their ingredients and the quality of their products is very good. At least in my opinion, um, you know, some people have, you know, their preferences on products. Some people like drugstore products versus um, mainstream high commercial products, which I would say Diva Curl is. Um, but I really like Diva Curl. So far, so good. I haven't really had any problems with any of the products that I've used. I only have a few, but I like the products that I use and I feel like they do make a difference in my hair as far as like like the depths of my hair, like actually inside my hair, making it moisturized from the inside out and not just making it look moisturized. Mm. There's a difference, people. There's a difference. So yeah, I wanted to try it. I bought this with my own money. I was not sent this. I wish I was. But, um, so yeah, so basically applying it, it was very, very thick. It's very thick consistency. Um, you get eight fluid ounces um, to the tub, which is standard. Honestly, this is a standard size tub that all tub type products come in, which I don't really like tub products because it's like, I gotta unscrew it and I gotta scoop it out. If I got nails on, it's even more of a mess and then I gotta close it and my hands are wet whatever I prefer like pump things or things like that but it's in the tub and you get eight fluid ounces which is a standard um, amount of product if it is $38 so I understand if you think for eight fluid ounces you shouldn't be paying $38 but Diva Curl ingredients and products are you know kind of up there so if you want you know a higher standard for your hair then why not invest Anyway, applying the product, like I said, it was very, very thick. I did the whole like blizzard test. I turned it upside down. It did not spill or anything like that. So I really liked that it was pretty thick. So um, that meant a little went a long way for me. Um, I, as you can see, I have a lot of hair. So I didn't feel the need to put too much product in my hair to get, you know, the results that it claims to have. Towards the end, I did put a little bit, so I do have a little bit of product build up towards the front because that's where I get lazy, but also this is my problem area. I like to put a lot of whatever styling product I'm using in the front of my hair because this is my problem area, so I need it to cooperate more with me. So it takes a lot more for it to cooperate. So I do have a little bit of product build up, like some white spots, um, but honestly, like I just did that and it came right out. So I don't 
mind too much about that. So like I was saying, applying this product was pretty um, smooth. It was thick and creamy. It kind of just slipped through my hand and um, it was pretty thick so it clumped up my curls really good and I was kind of weirded out about that because I was like, okay, well, it looks kind of like stringy, like too clumped up, too clumped up, um, but now that it's dry, it wasn't like too scary, but while I was doing it and raking it through, I was, I guess I was raking through like too many like big sections and so it looked kind of like eh, weird so you can either rake it through or use um the praying hands method whichever way works for you i kind of do a mixture of both and yeah that works for me so after i applied all of the product to my entire head i could tell that my curls were elongated that they were stretched but i wasn't sure that they were going to stay that way so i was still like okay you know this is how it looks wet obviously we all know our hair looks longer wet but how is it gonna hold up once it's dry? So after I applied all the product in my hair, I was finished, I decided to dry my hair because I now do this thing where I dry my hair immediately after I finish. I don't let my hair air dry anymore. I'm just, I'm trying something new and I'm seeing if it makes a difference in the actual like health of my hair. So I dried my hair and what I did with my diffuser, I pretty much just, you know, held it on top and I dried my crown first because um, I learned that once you dry your crown and pretty much, you know, it kind of holds together and it creates the cast on top, then you can go around um, the rest of your head and flip it without it creating too much frizz on the top because the top is already dry. And honestly, the top of your hair, your crown, your roots is the most important part for it to dry. So you really want to make sure you get your roots all dry. But we're going to talk about that in another video. <laughs> so yeah, I diffused my entire head and as you can see I'm not putting the diffuser I'm not scrunching my curls I'm really just moving it around each section just making sure to get it get it in there but not scrunch it up so I just kind of placed it right on the ends and this is in real time I really just took my time and I left it there for a couple seconds and moved on to the next section and once I got my hair once I got the crown area pretty dry then I was able to kind of move my head around and I really just let gravity do its thing I did not touch my hair at all I did not manipulate it with my hands I just let gravity do its thing so I just would move my hair in opposite directions and where it's whichever way my hair would fall I would then go in there and dry my roots which really just helped honestly it creates volume and I don't have to manipulate my hair too much so then there's no frizz so yeah, I just dried my roots all the way around. And then, um, I, that was probably about, hmm, that took me about, what, 30 minutes, something like that. And my hair was about 75% dry. And then I let it air dry for like an hour and a half, just chilling. I was here at home, I was doing work and things like that. And then I diffused some more, a little bit more, just to get the rest of it together and get all of the roots and things like that and then I did a cool shot of using the hair dryer all over my hair to set in so this is pretty much I would say 99% dry yeah so I'm feeling my roots my roots are pretty dry there are some places that like are a little damp a little damp and then I feel some ends here that are a little damp but I would say 99% of my hair is dry right now and I think the product works I think the product does what it says it's gonna do I think the claims are you know true I think Diva Curl um, formulated a really good product it's nice and creamy um, it really melted into my hair really easily like I said I was just raking it through and smoothing it into my hair and I always apply my products with really wet, saturated hair, which would also help with the elongation because the more saturated with water your hair is, the heavier it is, and so your curls will be elongated just naturally. So with a lot of water and the product, I was just raking it in and just doing, you know, what I do normally. So compared to like my usual wash and goes, I really think that this is, this, this product work, it elongated my curls, my fro is not as shrunken up, um, you know, as it would be on day one. You know, this is day one and it's pretty elongated. Um, to me, this is kind of how my results would be if I did a twash and go, which if you haven't seen that video, click the link up here or down here. 
but so my with my twash and go my hair is more elongated at the root um to because of the twist at the beginning so this is like the similar type of shape and volume i will get with my twash and go but this is a wash and go so this is really cool i i, I enjoy the product i like the way my hair feels i like the result when I was applying the product, I made sure to not only focus it on the ends, but also on the root because I feel like it, it needs to elongate from the root down. I feel like if you just focused it on your ends, then your roots would scrunch up and then your ends would be long and you might look kind of crazy. And your roots are really the part that like shrink up the most. So I really made sure to just rake it through from root to end all the way down to make sure you know all parts of my hair are covered from the root to the ends to make sure that every section of my hair is elongated not just the ends so yeah i think i covered everything i would recommend this product um especially if you have super curly hair like mine and if you have shorter hair and you're trying to get over that short hair phase um try this out and let me know if it works for you um i it's it's pretty good for thick hair because I have thick hair. Um, this is, you know, categorized under their kind of thicker hair products um, because of the purple thing. So all of the products that I have have this like purple thing because it's for like the thick curly hair people. Um, so yeah, I, I like this product. Um, I recommend it. If you want to know more about it, I will leave a link down below to where you can purchase it and where you can find more information about it. But yeah, I think that is all I have to say about this product, the Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. It's definitely a win for me. I hope it's a win for you. Um, let me know if you try it out. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!